So you've worked in the corporate world, you've run your own company, you've worked with all different levels of people. What do you think makes a great leader? Well, I thought a lot about this question because I think there's a variety of things that make a great leader. And, and I think if we had that, manage, that magic formula bottled, um, <laughs> we'd have a lot more great leaders. But for me, it kind of comes down to three things and they're related in that the, I think the number one most important thing for a good leader is to be self-aware. And I think that solves a lot of problems, right? It solves the ego, it solves um, them being too mercurial, it solves them not listening to the people around them. But if you have someone who's very self-aware in terms of their own strengths and weaknesses, and also self-aware about how they treat others, which is related to kind of the second trait, which I would say is empathy, um, you can have a really strong leader that if, if they are decisive, that's the third trait, a, a sense of decisiveness, they can get people to get on side and follow them. And I think without starting with that self-awareness, um, they're, they're never gonna be successful no matter how visionary, no matter how um, amazing they are at what they do, if they're completely blind to their behavior and how they impact others, um, it can be a real detriment to the organization. It can be soul crushing to, to the people in the ranks. And so, um, you know, and I don't know if this is just me jaded because I'm in Silicon Valley and, and there's unfortunately a lot of <laughs> very unself-aware uh, leaders in very successful companies, you know, so it's kind of hard to argue, are they a good leader or are they not? But really the mark of a good leader is someone that can, that can inspire people and that can get them to rally around a common mission and accomplish it. I mean, for me, that's, that's the most important thing. Now, if they're, again, if they're indecisive and can't make a decision, then then people are just lost and, and they don't know what to do, they don't know where to go, they don't know where to channel their energies. So um, I would say it would be those th a combination of those three traits that would really, really makes a leader stand out and is someone that you want to follow.